Good morning. The awareness on prostate as a male organ is missing in the public domain. What is available and what we know about it may not translate reports into a care and cure. And therefore, a very short talk to give you an idea and perspectives of what practically is required for all men in their 40s to 80s is what we take it forward from your platform. I, Dr. Sanjay Pandey from the Kokila Bin Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital in the Department of Urology, Andrology, looking at male and female urinary functions and sexual functions. Take it forward in a journey on this uh, progressive aspect of change which men go through. Men go through changes in prostate aspects where they hardly know anything around. And that is in the prime of life. Imagine somebody in his 40s, absolutely doing very well in his life, flying high, getting promoted, making good salary. The life is all good. Family is all getting settled around. But what is happening internally are there are changes. Like changes happen in your blood reports and you pick up the blood reports in health checkup and go to your doctor. There are few things which you really don't go to your doctor to in your mid and early 40s, 50s and 60s, unless there is a significant complaint. Because of multiple reasons. Urinary issues and sexual issues are so much hush-hush, hidden. We are scared to complain that to a doctor, to a specialist, to a urologist in this city and this country. Uh, my urology colleagues in this part of the world Look forward to identifying you much earlier than the kind of emergencies which happen in urology so frequently. So let's discuss a little bit on the prostate issues in men, which is not so much of a definition available in public domain. Number one, prostate changes happen to all men. Nobody escapes it. It's a progressive change happening around where a prostate, a male gland, it is not the testis which a lot of people call as prostate. Prostate is a male gland internally hidden deep in the perineum. That means in front of your motion passage inside your body but below the urinary bladder. So if I look at, just to give you an idea on that caricature, which I've talked again, that is the motion passage which through which you pass motions. That is the urinary bladder through which you the urine is stored by the urine coming from both the kidneys. And that is the urinary passage through which urine comes out. So as the urine comes out through this passage, this is the prostate. Prostate is a male gland through which urine comes out. We all know it. We all know it more than we actually need to know. But what you need to know is this prostate controls the urinary passage, like the door controls the passage through which you go out every day out of my outpatient department. So this prostate works like a trap door for the urinary passage because the urinary passage goes through the prostate. That's all. That means God made it such that you go through something and that something controls your passage. So let's talk about this. So people in 40s, late 35, 40s, 45, 50s is the age group where prostate changes happen around and this is a very silent, slow, progressive change year after year. In other words, you cut your birthday cake, celebrate that full day and full year. But don't forget, you get less younger by one more year. You didn't got younger. You actually don't know that as time and clock is ticking, we got to safeguard our health on one aspect, which is completely missing in the public domain. The prostate health in men. In women don't have prostate. So the prostate undergoes that gradual change which 90% of us in the society think about the size of prostate. Like my black hairs will undergo a change towards grayness and sometimes may turn bald. Similarly, the prostate undergoes a change where the change could not necessarily always be the size of the prostate. Size is a measurement. And that measurement is done by somebody else, not by you and me. That measurement is done by a sonologist, a colleague of ours who does a good ultrasonography and measures your prostate size through the window of the urinary bladder, which is full. That's called as ultrasonography or sonography or ultrasound, whatever we call it in public domain. So the bladder fills up and the bladder contracts at the time and location of your choosing because you are the boss, you are the master. You reach the washroom, open your zip and then when you want to pass urine, the bladder then through signals which are integrated through the brain spinal cord, the bladder learns to contract. As it contracts and pushes urine out, the passage opens up and urine comes out. Somebody is sitting in front of me in the clinic because of my permission or because of my need. As we start discussing, talking, and as we finish, I say, you could go. The patient would walk out, the door would open, and he would reach outside. So there's a great understanding between him and the door. So there's a great understanding between the bladder and the prostate. The bladder contracts, the passage open, urine comes out. And the passage which opens up is already given very narrow by God. Look at your organ, you'll find that the urinary passage is absolutely that narrow as, as narrow as two to three millimeters at the tip of your urinary passage. Now, that's a narrow pipe, 18 to 20 centimeters, which starts at the level of the bladder neck where the bladder ends. So the urinary bladder ends there. And that's where the urinary passage starts. 
as the urinary passage goes on it goes through the prostate as i said and that prostate which i talked about undergoes a change which a sonologist measures in size and says normal 10 to 15 20 grams prostate can become 30 40 50 60 80 100 200 300 500 there's no limit there's no limit in your lifetime from 40s to 80s your prostate can undergo hormone change but obviously a progressive change which happens year after year decade after decade is something which is visualized in a health checkup by many of you or many a times because you had complaints your doctor could be a family physician could be a surgeon could be a urologist in your city orders the investigation to look at and identify changes which are happening internally so there are changes there are static changes where the bladder wall is getting thickened because the bladder is overworking to push urine out through the obstruction which the prostate is developing and that's where i'm coming to so size of prostate may not matter so much your complaints matter your adjustments matter. And as a male, you and I have learned to adjust it very progressively in the life, which I talked about, a successful late 40s, early 40s. That's when most of the complaints do start, but we are capable enough to tidy it out. If I could pick up 100 people from the society and bring them over here and talk to them about the urinary complaints and score them by an IPSS symptom score, I know problem starts in 40s. We see many young men coming with quite refractory symptoms in urinary complaints at the age of 42. And obviously, the fathers have got issues which are progressive with age and the grandfathers obviously had issues which got cure or the therapy is still on. So when you look at 40s, 60s and 80s, we're talking about somebody young in 40s, looking at his fathers in 60s and looking at his grandfather in 80s. Let's discuss that. The progressive change which happens in the prostate, which is measured by size in a health checkup or by a sonologist, is only a parameter. Number one, bladder wall thickness is also a parameter. These parameters are about the lower urinary tract function, which was otherwise anatomically very normal when we were, when we were in our 10s, 20s, 30s and 40s. The prostate ki change is very progressive and gradual. And sometimes the urine doesn't open up, which we don't know. We don't know this because it's going to grow by millimeter by millimeter, day by day, year by year. And this progression happens over years or decades. Now that change is something which we need to know. So young men sometimes refuse to believe that they have got urinary complaints till we see their report card. The report card is actually your real parameter. The report card to me in understanding on the lower urinary tract is called Euroflow metric. Passing urine in a computerized toilet, the way you pass urine, the pattern of your flow, the staccato or the bell-shaped curve that you create when the urine comes out into a computerized toilet, how much you pass, how much is left over, real time, is called Euroflow metric and a post war residue compared to a sonography where the sonologist does not know what are you doing in the washroom. You strained, you pushed, you, you did something out there and you emptied your bladder or you could not empty your bladder. So real-time knowledge of somebody who is not passing urine very well or there are changes happening can best be known when he does urophilometry in a computerized toilet. That's how we assess and look at that this individual is going through a change. And that change is the most important change I'm looking forward to right now. So all men who have got urinary complaints in their 40s, 50s and before 60s are on the younger side from the government of India productive years of their life, capable enough, the urinary and sexual function. If the flow is gradually going down, things are gradually changing. And that can progress to a more difficult level as time goes by. So our first and the most important thing was to make people aware that this does not happen to your fathers and grandfathers alone. It did start somewhere earlier. In a study which was actually published in British Journal of Urology in maybe 2004, of our data of 1997 and beyond, they looked at the data and found that People in their 40s also had significant urinary complaints in institutional study. But let me tell you that if they had significant complaints or severe complaints in their 40s, it means that 30, 35, 35, 40 can be urinary complaints. So, my whole discussion is that if there is a urinary complaint that doesn't open the urine, it doesn't open the urine because the prostate trap door is urinary passage. At that time, you can tell your sonography prostate size 20 grams or 200 grams. उतना फर्क नहीं पड़ता फर्क पड़ता है कि हम किस तरह से आपको रिवर्स करेंगे जो प्रोग्रेशन ऑलरेडी हो चुका है सो इफ यू ऑलरेडी ऑन अ मेडिकल मैनेजमेंट या ट्रीटमेंट चल रही है प्रोस्टेट डिजीजेस के लिए जिसमें आपके डॉक्टर वो आपके यूरोलॉजिस्ट हो आपके शहरों में आपके फैमिली फिजिशियन हो आपके बंधु हो या फिर आप हेयर से कोई दवाइयां खा रहे हैं जो खाते जा रहे हैं आपकी इंप्रूवमेंट होती जानी चाहिए अगर आपकी इंप्रूवमेंट उन दवाइयों पर नहीं हो रही है तो वो दवाई वो काम नहीं कर रही जो करना चाहिए वो दवाई का काम है कि वो यूरिन को इंप्रूव करे उसकी फ्लो और थ्रो को इंप्रूव करे ब्लैडर पूरी खाली होना शुरू हो और ये अनफॉर्चुनेटली दूसरी तरफ प्रोग्रेस होता जाता है उम्र के साथ साथ तो अगर आपकी दवाइयां काम नहीं कर रही हैं देन वी नॉट इंप्रूव 
Let's look at this 40s to 50s who are not doing very well in their flow, but they are not able to adjust themselves. They somehow manage. They develop their frequency, urgency, and come and complain that there is a lot of frequency, urgency. Hai. Then we ask a question, does it open or not? And they tell, it doesn't open, it doesn't come from a lot of days. It doesn't come from a lot of days. When we have a test of urine flow, I say ECG of the bladder. You have urine flow and the flow doesn't open. It means that it's a stop. रुकावट मानी जाती है कि यूरेथ्रा में भी हो सकती है जैसे यूरेथ्रल स्ट्रक्चर कहते हैं जैसे हम यूरेथ्रोप्लास्टी से ठीक करते हैं यहां कोकेलाबेन हॉस्पिटल में लेकिन हमारा मेन इंटरेस्ट है आपकी प्रोस्टेट कितनी ब्लॉकेज कर रही है और वो जानने के तरीके बहुत वो यूरोफ्लोमेट्री है वो यूरोडायनेमिक्स है हमें कितना डीप जाना है उसे टेस्ट करने के लिए वो टेस्ट करना आज जरूरी है बिकॉज़ कल ये उससे भी खराब होने वाला है और परसों और भी खराब होने वाला है तो आई वाज टॉकिंग कल मतलब फादर्स की उम्र में अगर आप 40 के हैं आपके फादर 60 में हैं उनकी यूरिनरी कंप्लेंट तो है ये और बात है कि हम सब सुनते हैं कि वो भी दवाई खा रहे हैं तो मैं हर बार पूछता हूं कि यंग पेशेंट को आपके फादर कैसे हैं सर उनकी प्रोस्टेट की इशू चल रही है वो दवाइयां खा रहे हैं इसके बाद कोई बात पूछना मुश्किल होता है क्योंकि ऑब्वियसली फ्लो उतनी ग्रेट है कि नहीं है खुल के आ रहा है कि नहीं आ रहा है उस दवाई की जरूरत भी है कि नहीं वो दवाई को हम कम करके बंद भी करें या उसको एस्केलेट करें अगर प्रोग्रेशन हो रही है इन सब चीजों पर गौर करना होता है सो प्रोस्टेट इशूज इज अ बिग पंडोरास बॉक्स जिग्स ऑफ अजल जैसे सिक्सटीज टू एटीज होता है द प्रोग्रेशन इज ऑब्वियसली सिग्निफिकेंट ऑन मेनी एस्पेक्ट्स ये देखने में आता है कि इतने सारे प्रोस्टेट्स को मैं यहाँ मंडे टू सैटरडे इवालुएट करता हूँ कोकेलाबेन हॉस्पिटल में और बहुत से ऐसे पेशेंट होते हैं जिनमें हम फिंगर एग्जामिनेशन के द्वारा जिनके हम पीएसए की बहुत इनडेप्थ टेस्ट के द्वारा और जिनमें हम किसी और कारण से कैंसर प्रोस्टेट पकड़ लेते हैं सो कैंसर प्रोस्टेट एक हॉर्मोन रिलेटेड डिजीज है जैसे ब्रेस्ट कैंसर एक हॉर्मोन रिलेटेड डिजीज है अगर हॉर्मोन है तो यहाँ पे अच्छा चल रहा है अगर किचन खुला पड़ा है तो डाइनिंग टेबल पर खाना आ रहा है किचन बंद किया तो डाइनिंग टेबल बंद हो जाएगा कहने का मतलब वो है कि ये सब हार्मोन रिलेटेड कैंसर्स हैं ये कैंसर्स अलग तरह के कैंसर होते हैं और ये ऐसा नहीं कि बहुत बढ़ रहा है घट रहा है या बहुत देखने को मिल रहा है आज हेल्थ कॉन्शियस शहर और देश में बहुत से लोग हेल्थ चेकअप कराते हैं बहुत से लोग कुछ और कंप्लेन्स के कोदारा आते हैं और उनको हम पकड़ लेते हैं तो बहुत जरूरी है इसके बारे में जागरूक हो तो सिक्सटीज टू एटीज में बहुत देखने को मिला है जहाँ हम जैसे कल शाम को हम लोगों ने दो प्रोस्टेट कैंसर की सर्जरी की जिसमें लोकलाइज डिजीज को हमने रोबोट के द्वारा पूरी कैंसर को हटा लिया और ब्लैडर और यूरथ्रा को जोड़ दिया ये काम जो हफ्ते में दो से पांच बार हम करते हैं कंपेयर टू टी ओ या प्रोस्टेट की ब्लॉकेज जो हम हफ्ते में पांच से पंद्रह बार करते हैं ये सब इसीलिए करते हैं बिकॉज हम किसी को क्योर कर सके पर बहुत से लोग ऐसे हैं जिनको मेडिसिन से हम रिवर्स कर सकते हैं और इसलिए जागरूकता की आज इतनी जरूरत है पुटिंग पेशेंट्स पर्स पुटिंग द लाइफ फर्स एंड पुटिंग हेल्थ ऑफ दोज एस्पेक्ट विच आर नॉट डिस्कस्ड हम सब हार्ट के बारे में डिस्कस करते हैं ब्रेन के बारे में डिस्कस करते हैं कॉस्मेटिक के बारे में डिस्कस करते हैं चमड़ों के बारे में और अपनी लिपिड प्रोफाइल के लिए हम दवाई खाते रहते हैं वगैरह वगैरह लेकिन बहुत बार हम अपनी यूरिनरी कंप्लेन्स को सही तरीके से डील नहीं करते प्रोस्टेट की दवाई यूं खाते रहना और हमारी फ्लो की टेस्ट ना होना इसका मतलब यह है कि हम ब्लाइंडली शूट करे जा रहे हैं अगर आपको बुखार नहीं है तो पैरासिटामोल थोड़े खाते हैं कहां आप डोलो खाए जा रहे हैं वो कोविड का जमाना नहीं रहा तो बार बार आप दवाई तो खा नहीं रहे बुखार होती थी तो आप दवा दिन में दो बार से तीन बार भी खाते थे बुखार नहीं तो दवाई नहीं खाते ना सिमिलरली प्रोस्टेट की दवा किसको खाना है कब तक खाना है और कब स्टॉप करना है ये कोई जरूरी नहीं कि आजीवन दवाई है और आजीवन अगर दवाई है तो फिर उन लोगों के लिए है जिन लोगों की प्रोग्रेशन हो रही है जिनमें उनकी इंप्रूवमेंट भी हो रही है आप दवाई खाते रहे और यूरिनरी इंप्रूवमेंट नहीं हो रही है तो फिर ये आपके हित में नहीं है सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो दैट विथ मेडिसिन आई नीड टू कंटिन्यू इंप्रूविंग मेरी इंप्रूवमेंट होती रहे डॉक्टर मेरे को आप मेरे यूरोलॉजिस्ट वो दिल्ली बॉम्बे कलकत्ता मेड्रास कोई बटूर कहीं नहीं हो आप हमारे यूरोलॉजिस्ट हमें देखते हैं और हमारी दवाई को वही करते हैं या चेंज करते हैं वो कुछ एविडेंस के आधार पर करते हैं वो अपने में अंतर्यामी नहीं है कोई भी यूरोलॉजिस्ट किसी एविडेंस पे काम करता आज की एविडेंस बेस्ड मेडिसिन के जमाने में जहां एविडेंस बेस होता है साथ ही एक्सपेक्टेशंस को मैच करता है उनकी एक्सपर्टीज के द्वारा बहुत जरूरी है कि हम उस एविडेंस बेस मेडिसिन को थोड़ा से फॉलो करें तो बहुत बार आप आपके फादर आपके ग्रैंडफादर फादर दवाइयां खाए जा रहे हैं और यूरिन रुक रुक के आ रहा है खाली नहीं हो रहा है लीक हो जा रहा है पूरा खाली नहीं होता और इन्फेक्शन होता रहता है इस तरह की अगर कंडीशन चल रही है मतलब जरूरी है दैट वी नीड टू सी अरोलॉजिस्ट वी नीड टू सी अवर डॉक्टर हु आइडेंटिफाई द रीजन अराउंड हमें दवाई खाना है तो कौन सी खाना है और खाना है तो कब तक खाना है और खाना है उसे चेंज करना है तो क्यों चेंज करना है इन सब चीजों के बारे में जैसे आप इतनी सारी क्वेश्चंस अपने डॉक्टर को पूछते हैं ये क्वेश्चन हम आपको पूछते हैं कि अगर यूरिनरी कंप्लेन है तो बैठे क्यों है अगर यूरिनरी कंप्लेन है तो दवाइयां सिर्फ क्यों खाते जा रहे हैं उसकी इवालुएशन घड़ी घड़ी से क्यों
कि एक्चुअली बहुत दिनों से आपकी यूरिन खुल के नहीं आती थी हफ्ते में ऐसे दो से पांच लोग होते हैं पिछले पंद्रह साल से इस अस्पताल कोकिला बेन हॉस्पिटल में जहां हम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ यूरोलॉजी में लोगों को देखते हैं सुबह सुबह आठ साढ़े बजे पेशाब की नली लग गई है और लग के फिर यहाँ आए हैं कहीं दूर दराज से या फिर बॉम्बे की कई अलग अलग जगहों से कि कैथेटर लगी हुई और कैथेटर निकल नहीं रही है तो कैथेटर क्यों लग गई कैथेटर वो है पाइप या वो पाइप लग गया बिकॉज यूरिन हो ही नहीं रहा खुल के नहीं हो रहा है पूरा पेशाब नहीं खाली होता है बहुत सा पेशाब रह जाता है और ये किडनी को तंग कर रहा है ब्लैडर को तंग कर रहा है तो फ्रेंड्स प्रोस्टेट इश्यूज आपके डोमेन में नहीं है इट इज नॉट इन द डोमेन ऑफ अ कॉमन इंडिविजुअल टू अंडरस्टैंड प्रोस्टेट बिकॉज इट्स अ वेरी जिक्स ऑफ पजल फॉर अलॉट ऑफ यूरोजिस्ट ऑल्सो इट्स डीप इन साइड ऑर्गन इन इन द रीजन ऑफ द पेल्विस वेर इट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द रेक्टम सो ऑबली बहुत कॉन्स्टिपेटेड लोग होते हैं जैसे डायबिटिक लोग होते हैं लॉन्ग सेंग डायबिटिक्स बुजुर्ग लोग होते हैं बहुत कॉन्स्टिपेटेड है पेशाब खुल के नहीं आ रही है और अगर उनके कॉन्स्टिपेशन ज्यादा रही ऑब्स्टिपेशन की तरह गई तो पता चला कि यूरिन बंद ही हो गया तो बॉर्डर लाइन पे थे बिल्कुल फिसल गए तो कहीं ना कहीं यूरिनरी कंप्लेन्स का न होना यूरिनरी कंप्लेन्स को टाइम पे ठीक करना ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन को रिलीव करना जो पुरुषों में प्रोग्रेसिवली ग्रेजुअल हो ईयर आफ्टर ईयर हो रहा है इज ऑलमोस्ट अ रिक्वायरमेंट दर इज नो वे दैट आई एन यू इन अवर फोर्टीज फिफ्टीज सिक्सटीज सेवेंटीज एंड एटीज will not be a friend to a urologist who would be deeply immersed into identifying the reason of your urinary flow going slower it could be a stricture it could be a metal stenosis who knows it could be an occlusive phimosis in a non circumcised state not so common but yes recurrent infections obviously the commonest reasons which we see in today's world in the stressful world that you and i live in number one is obstruction to the urinary passage as a result of the prostate gradually occluding internally wo internal obstruction आपकी अल्ट्रासाउंड रिपोर्ट में नहीं पता चलती वो कुछ सेकेंडरी पैरामीटर्स देती है ब्लडर खाली नहीं हो रहा है पर किस रेट से हो रहा है और क्यों नहीं हो रहा है ये जानने की जरूरत होती है तो बहुत बार पोस्ट यूरोफ्लोमेट्री विच इज वेरी पुअर एंड यू केम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम विद डेट डिस्कस विथ यू टू क्यू इन टू द फोल्ड मैनेज यू विथ मेडिकल मैनेजमेंट वी फॉलो यू एंड फॉलो यू टूवर्ड्स नॉट लुकिंग एट मच बट लुकिंग एट योर कंप्लेन गेटिंग लेसर एंड वी लुकिंग एट योर सेफ्टी जहाँ पे एज ए यूरोजिस्ट वी लुक फॉरवर्ड टू योर यूरनरी फ्लो गेटिंग बेटर एंड बेटर so your flow improves your bladding emptying mechanism gets better compared to what it was in the last few months to few years or you were on therapy which was not effective hum dawai to kha ja rahe the par hamari urinary complaint to waisi ki waisi thi so how to get that sorted out with all these background it is important for us to bring this prostate health to absolutely the front row seat we are just in 40 we are just in 60s we are just also in 80s and at different age groups comes different problems if the obstruction continues your bladder continues to suffer and it continues to contract 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 till a point in time a dynamic organ called bladder which fills up every hour every minute and keeps you filled up till a social point of justice where you go and empty your bladder could actually lose its function it could lose a secondarily into a contraction power losses into trabeculated into a large capacity bladder because it is elastic and then an emptying mechanism gets lot heavier not because of complaints of the prostate changes with age but the bladder's complaints now many a times elderly diabetic individuals spinal diseases neurological diseases don't have always a prostate to blame the blame could also be in the level of the bladder where the bladder does not contract and push urine out the bladder has to push the passage has to open and urine has to come out that was my opening bars today so very important for us to wake up as adult men if we are not passing urine well we don't empty your bladder completely and things are going haywire to pick it up in time because if we don't do it we probably would land up in trouble where things can be reversible so health checkup is one idea doing a sonography and checking the psa is another idea looking at complaining the complaints which are there internally that you face at odd times and odd hours in too full a bladder and empty bladder in locations where you travel and you find difficult to empty your bladder a lot of idea comes from your complaints so urologist imbibes those histories examines you and then evaluates you by those tests which are required not necessarily you should be doing uh, always reports which will not help you these are important stuff which we need to probably pass it on in the public domain for us to take it forward and the finally psa or prostate specific antigen a quite a hunting ground for people to do tests and look at the reports and doing a total psa and a free psa in today's world a urologist can pick up things a lot by a combination of tests and examination and evaluation so let psa not be a situation where your psa does matter so much a prostate cancer can have a normal psa A prostate cancer, very high grade, can have a normal PSA because it cannot produce the PSA as a prostate specific antigen. Or a rise of PSA progressively can mark that there is an inflammatory component called chronic prostatitis. And obviously, an alarming PSA sometimes rise in PSA could help us to take you forward in a journey where we identify prostate cancer in advance. We pick it up much earlier than you know. And if you have done that, I think the job is done. So I believe in looking into these aspects with a lot of understanding. 
for entire aspect of coming to you uh, in the society to explain to you um, from various parts of the country, city as urologists and treating you forward in the urology clinics across is to safeguard this health which obviously progresses. None of us can escape it. As men, we would progress from 40s to 80s very, very slowly. Those who complain, they obviously get their treatment in time. Those who don't complain, progress and come very silently. And that silent progression can sometimes go to a level from where reversal is not possible. So all fathers, all grandfathers and all men from 40s to 80s who have got urinary complaints where there's an obstruction to the flow as a common complaint. And everything revolves around that. Burning sensation, infections, uh, pus discharge, fever, you know, passing urine more frequently, cannot control urgency. They all revolve around the passage of flow. Your passage of flow was very good in your 10s, 20s when you could paint on the wall. Oh, the mana khatam hota ja hai. Oh, the urinary flow hoti thi jahan bilkul khul ke urine pass karte the. Or bilkul diwar mein painting karte the. Oh, the mana ghatta ja raha hai. Hamari flow ab diwar se leke pass, pass se aur pass. Or fir drop drop or fir kapno mein girti hai. Or bahut baar sat mooch khali nahi hoti hai. Jiske liye catheter lag jata hai. To your progression us tarah se jo shuru se intermission, intermission se the end tak aata hai. Wo hone na de. Iske liye jaguk rahe ho aur apne urologist ko apne shahron mein mile. At the Kokila Ben Hospital and the Department of Urology, we propose to look at people pick up early complaints and therefore we pick them up and treat them. Both on the adenoma side where the prostate is enlarging and causing a blockage, where medical reversal is possible towards a treatment and a journey or a cure of those patients sadly who have missed out, have been refractory to complaints or where treatment has not come. We cure them by doing a channel creation which is called as a prostate surgery which could be a laser surgery or TURP and all other kinds of therapies we do for benign glands. On the cancerous side, obviously, we try to pick up as early as possible, picking up localized, like the one we did, three of these patients this week who came in from different cities, where we removed the cancer prostate completely and cured them of the disease. Many of them could come advanced, and that's where nothing to worry. Advanced diseases have their own therapy, and because it's a hormone-related gland, as I said, we cut the supplies and the, and the cancer comes to a quite a reasonable halt, quite a reasonable quality of life, preventing complications and aspects which are changing internally, both in terms of scary PSA levels and spread to diseases. Hormone treatment actually can bring it out and reverse it to most levels. So prostate awareness and the health awareness to very high levels was only to bring it to the point that when you listen to this intense talk to take you forward, you wake up that prostate health is your domain. If you haven't complained, then the doctor will come to your house. And when you complain, it will be very long. Because it's medical or surgical reversal available, you decide what is safe or long term. Thank you.